Hello world and hello amazing Philippines. Good day to all. And for today's video, we're going to have a professional education subject review, particularly the subject building and enhancing new literacies across the curriculum. And it's teacher A again. But before we start, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, and leave a message in the comment section. Madamo nga salamat. Okay, so I invite everybody, or I invite you all to have, of course, a piece of paper and, of course, a pen for your answers. Let's start with, of course, number one question. It is the ability to understand and evaluate meaning through reading and writing, listening and speaking, viewing, and of course, representing. For the options, letter A is literacy, B, numeracy, C is creativity, and letter D is learning. Again, letter A is literacy, B is numeracy, C is creativity, letter D is learning. Okay, let's have a count of five. One, two, three, four, five. So what's your answer? Okay, the answer is letter A, it's literacy. Okay, let's have question number two. It refers to all of the actions, understanding, and of course, misunderstandings of learners engaged in experiences that involve print creation or use. For the options, letter A is literacy skills. B is literacy competence. Letter C is traditional literacy. And letter D is emergent literacy. Again, for the options, Letter A is literacy skills, B, literacy competence, letter C is traditional literacy, and letter D is emergent literacy. Okay, let's count. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, what's your answer? The answer is letter D, it's emergent literacy. Let's have question number three. The question is, Miller derives the conventional concept of literacy into subcategories in what year? A, 1974, B, 1975, letter C, 1973, and letter D is 1976. Again, letter A is 1974, B, 1975, letter C is 1973, and of course, letter D is 1976. Okay, what's your answer? It's A, B, C, or D. Okay, let's have five, four, three, two, one. So the answer is letter C. It's in 1973. Let's have the fourth question. It means thinking about, thinking, and thinking about doing. Psychologists call this holistic understanding as blank. Letter A, meta orientation. B, metadata. Letter C, meta action. And letter D, metacognition. Again, letter A is meta orientation. B, metadata. Letter C, meta action. And letter D, metacognition. What's the answer? Okay, let's have five, four, three, two, one. The answer is letter D, it's metacognition. Okay, let's have question number five. Okay, participation in adult literacy programs correlates with increased participation in trade unions, community action, and national political life. Okay, letter A, means stronger economies, letter B, less poverty, letter C is community involvement, and letter D, lower air, early mortality rates. Okay, again, letter A is stronger economies, letter B, 
less poverty, letter C, community involvement, and letter D, lower early mortality rates. Okay, what's the answer? Okay, let's count. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, the answer is letter C. It's community involvement. Okay, wherein, of course, we can have community action and um, even, of course, participation with the national and political life. Okay, let's have question number six. It is the first pillar of literacy. So we need to encourage young learners to immerse themselves in it frequently and deeply. Letter A is writing. B is recording. Letter C is arithmetic. And letter D, singing. Again, the choices are writing letter A, B, reading. Letter C is arithmetic. And letter D is singing. Okay, what's your answer? Let's count five, four, three, two, one. The answer is letter B, it's reading. So we need to encourage, of course, our young learners to read at early age. Okay, letter B. Okay, let's have question number seven. Literacy is the ability to identify, understand, interpret, create, communicate, and compute using, of course, printed and written materials associated with varying context. This definition is from letter A, CHED, letter B, DEPED, letter C, TESDA, and letter D, UNESCO. Again, okay, this definition is from A, CHED, B, DEPED, letter C, TESDA, number, letter D is UNESCO. What's your answer? Okay, let's have five four, three, two, one. Okay, the answer is letter D, it's UNESCO. Okay, let's have question number eight. Okay, according to a study conducted by Pilam Life, 96% of Filipinos are concerned about their own and their family's health. However, only Blank percent of them are prepared to pay for medical costs in case they are diagnosed with a critical illness. Okay, options. Letter A is 16, B, 17, letter C, 19, and letter D, 18. Again, according to a study conducted by Pilam Life, 96% of Filipinos are concerned about their own and their family's health. However, only blank percent of them are prepared to pay for medical costs in case they are diagnosed with a critical illness. Letter A is 16%, 17 for B, 19 for C, and 18% for letter D. Okay, what's your answer? Let's count to 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The answer is letter A. It's 16%. Okay, let's have question number 9. Okay, an obstacle to savings wherein a person is, of course, delaying savings or putting savings off for another time. This calls for letter A, for spending, B, procrastination, Letter C, bukas masama kalawa. And letter D is indifference. Again, an obstacle to savings wherein a person is delaying savings or putting savings off for another time. Letter A is for spending. B, procrastination. Letter C, bukas sa makalawa. And letter D, indifference. Okay, what's your answer, my dear students? Okay. The answer is... Letter B, it's procrastination. Okay, let's proceed to question number 10. Okay, 10. So literacy that talks about the ability to use knowledge and principles to understand one's environment and test hypothesis. It calls for A, emotional literacy, B, social literacy, C, scientific literacy, D, environmental Literacy. Again, the options are letter A, emotional, B, social, C, scientific, letter D, environmental. Okay, what's your answer? Five, four, three, two, one. 
Okay, the answer is, of course, letter C, it's scientific. So the word uh, that probably we can remember is environment and, of course, test hypothesis. Okay, letter C. Let's have question number 11. Bebang is able, being able rather to understand and apply conceptual and numerical aspects of finance in practice. What literacy is being mentioned in the statement? Letter A, social. B, environmental. Letter C is cultural. Letter D, financial. Okay, again, the options are A, social, B, environmental, letter C, cultural, and of course, letter D is financial. Okay, what's your answer? Let's count five, four, three, two, one. The answer is letter D, it's financial. Okay, being able, of course, uh, to understand and apply conceptual and numerical aspects of finance. So that's, of course, letter D, financial. Let's have question number 12. Okay, the ability to sustain interest and effort and to persevere to accomplish a task or goal is known as A, grit, B, curiosity, letter C is consistency, and letter D, dedication. Again, it's the ability to sustain interest and effort and to persevere to accomplish a task or a goal. Okay, letter A, it's grit. Letter B, curiosity. Letter C, consistency. And letter D, dedication. Okay, the answer is, okay, letter A, it's grit. Okay, let's have question number 13. Bogart has the ability and desire to proactively undertake a new task. What literacy is being mentioned? Again, Bogart has the ability and desire to proactively undertake a new task. What literacy is being mentioned? Letter A, collaboration. B, initiative. Letter C is creativity. And letter D is curiosity. Again, letter A, collaboration. Letter B, initiative. C, creativity. And letter D is curiosity. Okay, let's have... Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, what's the answer? The answer is a letter B, it's initiative. Okay, it's being able to, of course, proactively undertake a new task. Okay, so that's initiative letter B. Let's have question number 14. Okay. The ability to identify and evaluate situations, ideas, and information to formulate responses and solutions. Again, the ability to identify and evaluate situations, ideas, and information to formulate responses and solutions. Letter A is critical thinking. Letter B, apologizing. Letter C, problem identifying. And letter C, problem tasking. Again, the options are... We have, of course, critical thinking, apologizing, letter B. Letter C is problem identifying. And, of course, letter D is problem tasking. What's the answer? Okay. So we have five, four, three, two, one. The answer is letter A. Okay. So that's the answer, letter A. Okay. For, of course, the last question. That's question number 15. Okay, so Marisol has, of course, the desire to ask questions and demonstrate open-mindedness. She, of course, possesses what ability? Letter A, creativity. B, problem solving. And letter C, curiosity. Then the last is letter D, collaboration. Again, Marisol has the desire to ask questions and demonstrate open-mindedness. She possesses what ability? A, creativity, B, problem solving, letter C, curiosity, and letter D, collaboration. Okay, what's your answer? Let's count five, four, three, two, one. So the answer is, of course, letter C. It's curiosity. It's the desire to ask questions and of course, demonstrating open-mindedness. Okay, I hope you got, of course, a perfect score or probably a score higher than 12 or 10.
Okay. This is again your teacher A saying thank you for, of course, being with us in this, of course, review. See you uh, next time and, of course, other review video that we can have, particularly with professional education subjects, education subjects, rather, and, of course, general education. Again, don't forget to like, of course, subscribe, share, and, of course, have okay, a comment or a message in okay, the comment section. Thank you. See you next time. God bless everybody. Good day. Bye-bye.